On a personal level, performance anxiety is something that I've had to learn to manage, and I would like to share some of my tips with you. I'm not just a therapist and coach, but I'm also an entertainer. I've been a bagpiper for over 12 years, and I've also been a stage magician and escape artist for going on six. As such, I've had the privilege of performing at many different functions and to many different size crowds and audiences. And to this day, yes, I still get anxious at times. There are certain skills though that I've learned which help me manage this. Please remember that having some level of stress and anxiety around what you are doing is completely okay and normal. It is how we manage it that, that is what's important. Hey beautiful people, Jason here at the Nexus Theatre as part of the Adelaide Fringe. The Adelaide Fringe is the second biggest arts festival in the world and is my absolute favourite time of year because as a performer, I get to entertain hundreds of different people at a whole range of different shows throughout the Fringe season. Given this time of year, I thought it would be very important to talk about something that we will all face at some point in our life, and that's the topic of performance anxiety. Whether we are given a talk at a work function, or we are having to do a speech at a wedding, or we're even performing on stage, at some point in our life we will all have to do public speaking in some form or another. But what is anxiety? Anxiety is the worry of the what ifs. What if things don't go to plan? What if I forget my lines? What if people will laugh at me? What if I fail? Performance anxiety is made up of these what ifs and is primarily caused by a part of the brain called the amygdala or reptilian brain. This part of the brain is responsible for fear and our fight or flight response. It is the oldest part of our brain and was an evolutionary necessity during early human evolution when we needed to be a part of a tribe or clan in order to survive. You see, back then we had to fit in and be accepted by the tribe so they would help keep us safe from predators. This is something that has stayed with us since then. After all, we still want to fit in, don't we? This is what causes the performance anxiety. It is the fear of fitting in, the fear of being liked and accepted by others. And if we look at it from this evolutionary point of view, we can see that it did serve a purpose. We are social beings, but how do we better manage anxiety? There are a few techniques that we can utilize. The first is pretty obvious. Practice what you are gonna be doing. If you have practiced what you are gonna be doing and are feeling confident, then this will drastically reduce the performance anxiety. So tip number one, be prepared. The next technique is taking some time to visualize the task in your mind. Sit quietly with your eyes shut and reflect on how you would like the task to go. Imagine yourself feeling confident. Yes, there can be some level of anxiety, but imagine yourself being in control of it. Picture the audience engaging with you how you would like. Imagine how you would like the task to go in as much detail as possible. You'll be amazed at the effects this can have on boosting your confidence. The practice of mindfulness is crucial to overcoming anxiety. Prior to presenting, spend some time in a quiet space and focus on your breath. Focus on breathing slowly and rhythmically. This can assist in lowering your heart rate and in turn reduce anxiety. Whilst you do this, allow any thoughts to come. However, do not dwell on them. If a negative thought comes, just acknowledge it and allow it to pass by without getting caught up in it. On the topic of self-doubt, whenever you find yourself doubting what you're about to do, remind yourself one thing, that you have done this before. Do you remember step one, be prepared? You have done this before and you have been successful in the past, so you've got this. Finally, always remember if things do go wrong, and sometimes they will, the world is not gonna end. Most of the time, the only person who will know that something went wrong will be yourself. If a mistake happens, remind yourself that it is perfectly normal. You are not a robot, none of us are. If something does go wrong, take a deep breath and move forward. There is always a way around it. Remove the word failure from your vocabulary. There is no such thing as failure, just lessons. In a week's time, a month's time, or a year's time, that failure will not matter. So remember, be prepared, visualize, practice mindfulness, and remind yourself that you have done this before. And if things do go wrong, that's completely okay. There's no such thing as failure, just a lesson to be learned. If we can change our perspective in these ways, we can better manage performance anxiety.
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jason and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share with your friends and as always, bright blessings to you all.